you've been thinking all day of someone you once loved and loved so completely you erased yourself. Just to know them was to love them and to love them was to breathe. And you realize you'll never love anyone like you love them. But that's probably normal and everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We are going through a time of a lot of questioning to do with what a relationship is and so we wanted to try and make an opera which is usually a quite kind of gender traditional thing in terms of like the relationships that people have and sort of bring those questions and those politics into it and sort of queer the opera up. We met in X at the Opera Festival at this point two and a half years ago. That workshop was really just about sharing our work and discussing what opera can be, what it, we think it should be. And then when I read her work, it was very political, um, very much connected to our world. And my music tends to be so much about space and uh, absorption that I thought the contrast could be really interesting. We had been talking between Savannah and me about queerness and identity and whether these things can shift and change and what happens to an opera singer if they you know, have to become something else but their voice is you know, within a particular range. Metamorphosis seemed to be quite a good way of doing that because you could look at moments of transformation and change in bodies and in feelings and in desires. And I think it's a really good way of exploring transformation. is about change and metamorphosis and fluidity and not uh, not being bound by conventional thinking. But it always happens through relationships and through interaction with the other. We never really metamorphose out of ourselves just by ourselves. There's always something external. I think it's absolutely important because it represents our world and represents us. If we don't represent it, then we simply don't represent the way the reality is, and then we have this impression that reality is, is that way, but in fact it's not. When you have quite complex themes, it's quite good to bring yourself back to a very simple story, and in a way there's no more simple story, particularly in opera, than, you know, two people trying to love and trying to work out how to do that. So the initial form is that it's a couple. It's a couple who are at the end of something, who are at breaking point in some form. Something has to change, something has to give. And so that's where we start. And then it's about how we look at that moment. And it's one moment that we look at from sort of multiple different points of view. And we're trying to start with something that is maybe more immediately recognizable. And from there to go off in all kinds of different directions, bizarre or not, um, to constantly maybe confound or subvert what people may be thinking that it is, um, and to see where it goes from there. There's a whole generation of younger artists who are going, what is this opera thing? Let's try and bring it into the 21st century. Because it's actually a form that's really open to being really cool and doing really challenging political stuff. I mean, it always has done, actually. We just tend to think about it in quite traditional terms. And now everyone's sort of exploring it and exploding it. And that seems like something worth doing.